after a busy day of doing all the things that we have to do, because let's face it, our schedules are super busy. We need to be intentional about taking time for self-care. And not only do we need to take time for self-care, we need to make sure that we are doing relaxing self-care activities that are really going to put us in a good place so that we can get right back to the hustle and bustle that we all have to do. So today I am sharing some relaxing self-care ideas for you to add to your self-care routine. Let's talk about it. Hey, I'm Cher at the Fluker. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Around here, I love helping busy women be unapologetic about putting themselves first. And today we're sharing or talking about some relaxing self-care ideas. Now, I by no means expect you to use all of these ideas, but I want you to have them in your self-care toolbox so that you can pick out the things that are really going to help you to relax. And how do you know that other than trial and error, we cannot just uh, say, you know, or do what someone else does for self-care and expect it to work for us. We have to find what works for us that's going to put us in our best um, place, that's going to help us to feel better and be more recharged and ready to go on and do the things that we have to do. So here we go. I'm going to share some ideas. So my first idea is to pamper yourself. And that can look different for different people. That could be taking an extra long bath um, that could be getting your nails done, your toes done, whatever it is that pampering yourself means to you. If it is getting a facial, getting your hair done, whatever it is, but pampering yourself should be relaxing. When you are in a position to where someone else is waiting on you by you know, taking care of your facial or doing your hair and nails, make sure that you are using that opportunity to relax, to unwind, not to be thinking about things that you have to do, but to just be in the moment and just relax. So pampering yourself is my first tip. Next is enjoying the little things. There are so many opportunities for us to take in some beautiful scenery or get some fresh air or just really celebrate tiny things. A fresh bouquet of flowers, um, just walking through a, a garden or taking the long way to work to see different sites than what you see on a regular basis. Whatever it is, you know, just make sure that you're paying attention to little things. It doesn't always have to be this big production when we're talking self-care. We, you know, pass by so many things or we see so many things in the course of our day that we really could just stop, you know, and look at a bird or look at a butterfly or whatever the case is. But just finding ways to enjoy little moments that can really help to put you in a better place. My favorite, you know, if you have been around this channel anytime, you know that writing is going to be on my list. So writing in a gratitude journal is my next tip. Writing can be so relaxing, especially when you are writing in a journal because there's no formalities there. You're just doing what you want to do because it is not for anyone else to read. It's just for you. You're getting your ideas, your thoughts, your worries, whatever it is. You're getting it from your head to that paper. And there is something so relaxing about that. I love just sitting down with my journal at the end of the day or anytime when I'm feeling uh, especially overwhelmed and just writing about it and just writing thoughts, not even always a complete sentence. It's just jotting down some different ideas. So give that a try and see if it'll help you. Here's the teacher in me again, but reading a good book. Sometimes it's so relaxing to just get lost in a good book. I love doing that as well, especially if you get me like outside on my back porch where I can just hear the birds chirp, smell, you know, the fresh air, all of those things that really help to put you in a good place. But reading a good book, find something that you've been wanting to read, something that someone has recommended to you, or some of those books that you have already bought and that are sitting on the shelf collecting dust. Go ahead and grab one of those books, find you a cozy spot and read for a bit. Another of my favorite relaxing self-care ideas is listening to your favorite playlist. If you don't already have a self-care playlist, I will link mine down below. You can borrow it or go ahead and make your own. Think about songs that really make you feel good, that boost your spirits, that get you in a good mood. Put those on a playlist so that you can go to it anytime when you need that relaxation. Sometimes it doesn't even have to be a song with lyrics. It can just be like sounds of nature or sounds of the ocean, any of those things that really just kind of help you to relax and calm down and just put you in a better place. So find you some songs, put them on a playlist and let it be your go-to when you need it. Another small yet effective thing is taking deep breaths. 
Do not discount the power of a deep breath. When you are feeling overwhelmed or frustrated, just take a few moments and practice some deep breathing, like breathe in slowly, hold it, release that air and just release some of those frustrations. Now that will really help you when you are in a you know tense situation, when you're just feeling like, can't even describe it, but when you're feeling just overwhelmed and just like you just don't have any other option at that moment, take some deep breaths. Take a few times throughout the day to just kind of reset yourself by doing some deep breathing instead of those short, regular breaths that we do all day. Go ahead and try that out and see if it'll help you to relax a little bit. Another of my favorites is doing a face mask. There are a lot of different options for face masks. Make sure that you are looking at the ingredients because you don't want something that's going to mess your skin up. Be really careful about that. I recommend checking with a dermatologist or using something that is dermatologist approved. You can look at the labels and figure out which one is going to be best for you and your skincare needs, but it is relaxing. When you put that face mask on, you're kind of committing to a minute or two or 15 of relaxation. You just lay there and just let the mask do its work. I especially like doing face masks because I sit in one spot and I just lay there and relax for a moment while the mask is doing its work. So that's a very relaxing thing for you to try the next time you have a little bit of time for self-care. Another idea is to sip a cup of tea. If you are trying to relax, tea will help you to do that. There are so many different varieties of tea and there are some that I don't like, some that I love. So you'll have to kind of play with that to figure out the teas that you like. I bought a variety box and I will link that down below as well. And I love being able to choose different ones um, to taste and figure out which ones that I really like. That'll keep you from committing to a box of teas that you don't like. Get one of those variety packs and then you can taste different ones to see which one really helps you to get to sleep and to just, you know, get in a better place. The next idea is to burn a candle. When I want to relax with some aromatherapy, I will light candles around the house just to kind of diffuse those scents and those relaxing scents can really help to improve your mood and put you in a better place. So grab some candles, your favorite ones, and light them when you want to improve your mood. Another idea is to take some time off work. It doesn't have to be a whole day, but maybe take a few hours just to relax and just escape from all of the stress of work and life for just a little bit. You are so important. Your mental health is so important. Your physical health is important. And so sometimes we have to do those hard things like stepping away. Even if it's disappointing someone, you have to remember that you have to put yourself first because let's just be real honest life goes on if you were to burn yourself out they would pick someone else to get in your position and keep on moving so you have to prioritize yourself and do what you need to do so if you're feeling like it's time for you to step away for a moment don't be scared to do that this next one is something that i've been wanting to try but i haven't done it yet that is take a bike ride Bike rides through a local trail or, you know, even a national or state park can be so much fun. I actually had the opportunity to take a short hike through the Great Smoky Mountains National Park a few weeks ago, and I really enjoyed it and it piqued my interest. I saw people riding bikes and I was like, I need to get me a bike. So that's on my to-do list. Looked so relaxing. They were all laughing and having a good time as they passed me um, and I was walking. So that's something that I definitely want to try out. So if you are someone who enjoys or think you might enjoy riding a bike, grab a bike and hit a trail. Those are my suggestions for some relaxing self-care activities that you can try out. The important thing to remember, like I said at the beginning, is that you are trying different activities until you find the one that is going to work for you. Your self-care routine is fluid. It doesn't have to be the same thing that you're going to each time you want to get in some self-care, but it's nice to have some ideas in your back pocket so that you can pull them out when you do get that opportunity to take some time for self-care, whether it be a few minutes in a day or whether it be all day or whether you are lucky enough to get a week away for self-care. That is awesome too. But the important thing is that you're trying activities, you're paying attention to how you feel when you do these activities and how you're feeling after you finish these activities because we want to make sure that we are doing things that are going to put us in a better place. 
I hope you enjoyed these relaxing self-care ideas. If you want more ideas, go ahead and click this video right here where I share some other self-care activities that you can add to your toolbox.